with which it like kind of just like jumped over the fence was it didn't even put like any extra spring into its step. That's it like snow is. Yeah. Driving around, you know, forest roads, dusk. All right. For the next drone, we have another Chameleon TI by Armiton. For motors, we're using the new Xylo. These are the higher profile motors. Not sure exactly, again, how tall they are. I just know they work for 4S, which is what I'm using. We have the Flycolor ESCs, 35 amps. And I'm using the new Kukute F4. This thing is awesome, I hear. And it runs 32-bit. So on beta flight, so I'm I got some 32-bit ESCs to go with it there. I have my um, what is this called again? I use it all the time. TBS Crossfire Nano. The thing's awesome. And then we have our TBS Crossfire Unify HV for our video transmitter, and of course the Lumineer Eagle 2 Pro. I love this thing. I use it on all my builds. And anything else going on here I need to mention? Oh yeah, we have a, I've never used this before. I know they're really popular, the TBS antenna. That thing's awesome, supposedly. Looking forward to trying it out. And there's the other drone. Soon I'll be putting some more stuff on there. This is definitely my favorite frame. And I need to make a quick shout out to Brain3D for all of these awesome 3D prints. The bumpers as well as the GoPro mount, as well as the front bumper and the rear bumper for the antennas and I'm using these on all of my builds I've used them on all of my builds since I started this whole thing and I think they're just perfect for what we need in this hobby so on with this build we have the frame and then also I got these cool motors they're by Drib uh, you know LeDrib from the YouTube channel Drib he I think also works with Rotor Riot and uh, he's kind of my favorite pilot. He has just a really cool style of flying and making videos. So I thought I'd give these motors a try and see how they go. Hopefully they're really smooth. And also I got his flight controller. I forgot to get it out. It's this Riot Control right here. And it has a really cool setup. Let's see if I can get this box open. There we go. And it comes with the XT60, cool. Um, it has this really cool gyroscope that is encapsulated in a box. I think it's soft mounted in there. Hopefully it is because I'm out of soft mounts and I don't want to be swapping soft mounts each time I'm flying a new quad. But yeah, I love these new, this is the first time I've been using PDB built-in flight controllers and it just saves me tons of room. Like here, I'll show you. This drone has the Kakute F7, and you can see there's only one board in there, and just tons of room. And then with this drone, we have a PDB on the bottom, and then also the flight controller. And I had to do some ins insane jerry-rigging just to get both of those to fit in here, because this PDB has a giant capacitor that just makes it, you can see kind of right there, makes it impossible to just fit them all in there with those giant 10 or no 12 or 16 millimeter screws that it comes with and they're just too long because the gyroscope on top ends up touching the top board here so that's no good but um, I love the new anyways I love the new PDB built-in flight controllers they're awesome and I'm excited to see how they work um, these are all new boards to me Except for this one, this is the Kute F4 V2, and I've used it before in the past, and it's a great board. So, a little update this board does come with some soft mounts. Awesome. Notice that these holes are a lot bigger. I was trying to put them on my drone right here, and they just kind of wiggle around. And I was like, what's going on there? And then I looked in the bag, and they come with soft mounts. Awesome. So sadly, these 
bolts that the drib motors came with are not long enough to fit on my chameleon frame arms with these soft mount bumpers and that's that's sad I was looking forward to building that today and I definitely don't want to fly without bumpers so eh, it's all good I was probably going to save this build for when I get to a another special location that we'll be talking about soon. So let me rephrase that. They fit just enough to where it will catch, but you don't want to tighten them down too much. I've tried to use screws this length with motors on this frame with these bumpers, and they end up just stripping the metal that's either on the motor base there or off of the screw itself. And that's no fun when you just have stripped screws, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and attach them anyway with the short screws, short bolts, whatever, and I'll just build the drone and fly it later, but I'll make sure to get some better bolts for it when I'm ready to fly. So those motors are on there nice and snug and safe. So let's go ahead and move outside. I like to go outside when I solder because solder is gross. Anybody can tell you that. If you like to breathe solder, you're gross. So I got my drone set up here. One, two, three, solder. Got an XT60 tail for each one of them. And I also have a box for when I'm unscrewing things. I like to have the drone over the box. Of course, the box will be open. So if a screw falls, it doesn't fall into these epic cracks and get lost forever because sadly most of these kits they never come with like spare screws at all like maybe one and I mean you have a million things that you need to screw all the time so if you if you lose one screw you're kind of screwed no pun intended 